Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Status, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our labs playlist. In previous videos, we talked about urine ketone bodies, urine cortisol, urine chloride, urine potassium, urine osmolality, urine uric acid, and even urine culture and sensitivity. Also, we talked about urine electrophoresis before. Today, it's a subtopic in urinalysis or urine analysis, which is urine leukocyte esterase. What does site mean? Cell. What does leuco mean? White. So these are white blood cells. Esterase is an enzyme that deals with ester functional groups. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Here's your blood. It's made of plasma, which is the liquidy component, and the cells, which include red blood cells, white blood cells, or leukocytes, as well as platelets. We have erythrocytes, leukocytes, and thrombocytes. Today, we're focused on leukocytes. Who makes my blood cells? All of them come from the bone marrow, specifically pluripotent stem cells, which are divided into myeloid stem cells and lymphoid stem cells. Your red blood cells and platelets and many of the white the cells come from myeloid lineage, but the lymphocytes come from lymphoid lineage. What is the function of white blood cells? They are your military, your army, your defense system against pathogens. Let's review the anatomy of the urinary system. Here we have the urethra, then the urinary bladder, go up, ureter, go up, kidney. If I have bacteria in the urine with no symptoms, it's called asymptomatic bacteriuria. Infection in my urethra is called urethritis. In my urinary bladder is called cystitis. In my ureters is called ureteritis. And in my kidney pelvis is called pyelonephritis. Pylo means pelvis. Nephro means kidney. And itis means inflammation. Urinary tract infections could be asymptomatic, no symptoms, or with symptoms. What are the symptoms? Well, it depends on the type of urinary tract infection. If it's just in my urethra, I might get frequency urgency burning dysuria and pyuria, which is the presence of white blood cells in the urine, or the presence of pus in the urine, because pus comes from pus cells, which are the neutrophils, one of the white blood cells. But if I have cystitis or inflammation of my urinary bladder, then I get all of these symptoms plus suprapubic pain and tenderness. If I have pyelonephritis, which is infection of the renal pelvis, then I get all of these plus fever and costovertebral angle tenderness. How can we diagnose this? We look for white blood cells in the urine, we look for pus in the urine, we look for leukocyte esterase in the urine, nitrites in the urine, and the actual bacteria in the urine. Management is antibiotics. Urine leukocyte esterase. What's the method? Urine dipstick. This is part of urinalysis. Normally, you should have no urine leukocyte esterase. That's a negative test. Abnormally, the positive test, by the way, the word positive is a good thing for everything except inside the freaking hospital. Positive in the hospital is a bad thing. If I see purple shade, it means the presence of urine leukocyte esterase. Who made this? Leukocytes. So it means the presence of white blood cells, which means this patient probably has urinary tract infections. Okay, which organism is it? Was it a bacteria? Was it viral? Was it fungal? Was it parasitic? We have no idea yet. Was it gram positive or gram negative? No clue. In order to know which specific organism or which specific bacteria, you will need urine culture. And for that, please obtain clean catch midstream urine sample and we talked about this in detail in my previous video titled urine culture and sensitivity you'll find that video in my labs playlist what's the most common cause of asymptomatic bacteriuria or urinary tract infection it's the gram negative bacteria known as escherichia coli very important fact after finishing this video, please watch my video on urine culture and sensitivity in this playlist. If you want to know how we treat urinary tract infections, download my antibiotics course. It will show you how to cover gram positives, gram negatives, etc. It will also teach you about antiviral medications, antifungals, and antiparasitic ones. Download it today at medicosisperfectionalis.com. Asymptomatic bacteriuria for everybody is not a big deal, except for pregnant women. For pregnant women, it's a big deal. Learn more about asymptomatic bacteriuria, vulvar cancer, vaginal cancer, cervical cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, breast cancer, and much more by downloading my OBGYN high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. 
if you want to learn about the infections that can happen after surgery, as well as learning about trauma surgery, orthopedic surgery, etc., download my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionalist.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalist, where medicine makes perfect sense.